quick update before the review. We actually want to start owner's review, reviewing your own car on our channel. So we actually need your help. And we want to make this global tour, but why don't we start from Korea first. I'll leave my email below here, so let me know a little bit about your car and also let me know your contact number if you're interested. Okay guys, now let's get back to the review. Hello, welcome to Asian Petro. It is already June 24th here in Korea. It's about 7.30 p.m. So good evening to you guys. Today we have the all-new Hyundai Elantra as a press car. We also took a daytime review of this car. So if you have not seen that video, please refer to the link above. It's been raining all day, um, but we managed to uh, take in uh, the daytime review and now we're going to do a uh, night drive. Don't worry because I have umbrella on my head. So we're going to show you, you know, briefly show you the exterior design, interior design, and go for a night drive. So before we begin, if you love cars and car reviews, please do support us by subscribing to our channel and also hit that bell notification so you don't miss out in the future. Okay, guys. Um, some of you guys wanted me to show the key fob. This is what it looks like. You can lock the car. Unlock the car. Lock it. You can hold it. And also start the car. Yes, and you can also turn off the car. Hold the button for the trunk, the bottom one for the horn, okay? Let me just start showing the car from the front. I really do love this uh, line that actually stretches from the Hyundai logo, but personally, I think Hyundai logo looks a little bit large. You know, the, the rear one is not too large, but the front one <laughs> seems to be a little bit wide uh, for me actually big too. Um, it's got new parametric grill. They call it parametric jewel actually. So it's got like a multi angle to it. Looks very nice. And I also love how the grill itself nicely blends it into the headlamp. And um, it actually has a burp type turn signal here, but everything else is LED, but there's no fog lamp. And um, that's actually for the radar sensor. Uh, we also have a few uh, events going that way. and. You know, Hyundai actually left few um, triangular design elements um, because if you notice, the last generation was all about triangles everywhere, right? So I personally think this all-new Hyundai Elantra, seventh-generation Hyundai Elantra, looks a lot better than the last generation. So guys, do let me know how do you like the new front design. I, I think it looks a lot handsome compared to the last generation and just like I told you they left a few triangles here and on the side we're going to show you that side angle pretty soon um, let me also put a b-roll showing you this is LED DRL uh, LED headlamp LED high beam and also but um, burp types on turn signal and there isn't any um, fog lamp okay so generally I think it looks a lot better and especially like this um, boomerang-ish uh, looking headlamp. I think it's the best looking headlamp out of all the Hyundai cars. So guys, do let me know what do you think about the new headlamp system in the comment section. Okay, let me also show you the uh, engine room quickly. Ooh, look at that. It opens up welcoming you. Okay, in order for me to... Uh, let me just put down my umbrella because the hood is quite heavy and there's no uh, shocks to help me out, okay? It's not actually, not raining that much, okay? So our tester actually has a 1.6 liter MPI, multi-point injected four-cylinder gasoline engine, uh, which puts out about 123 horsepower and 113 pound-feet of torque. Engine is made it to CVT, continuous variable transmission, and powers all through, sent through, um, front wheels and um, you know I it was raining really heavily and uh, so we could not actually uh, do 0 to 60 time but uh, I think they're gonna also roll out uh, this is base engine right um, so last generation uh, with a very similar output it took about a little bit over 10 seconds so I think it would be very very similar so it's not impressive but uh, you know Unfortunately, we could not test the uh, 0 to 60 times or braking performance today because it was raining too heavily and because of the uh, what's going on with the North Korea, uh, there were just cops everywhere. So I really could not do anything today. Um, so that was 
a little bit unfortunate, but let's stay tuned because Hyundai will be also releasing the N9 with 1.6 liter turbo and also hybrid and also with N with 2 liter turbo. So it will put 2 liter turbo in this engine bay. So it should be very, very tight. So and should be very, very um, you know, interesting. So hope to show you those uh, higher performance cars soon in the future. It's actually starting to rain a little bit more. Um, so let me just uh, start showing you the car from the side. Um, yeah, the 17 inch, it's got 17 inch rims, uh, 225, 45 by 17 on front end bags, wearing Hanguk tire, Kinergy, Kinergy series. And, um, you know, it was, uh, uh, like I said, uh, you know, we couldn't really push it because it was raining, but even in this wet condition, the Hanguk tires was providing very, very nice and sufficient um, grip. So I was very su pleased and surprised. And, so this guy told you, uh, they left this triangular big lines here. Do you see it? Like that. Um, so guys do let me know. I, you know, it does not stand out too much. So it's just giving a little bit futuristic, um, you know, theme to it. So guys do let me know what do you think about side character line, um, triangular side character line from the side. And I'm not really a big fan of uh, this plastic panel. Um, you know, it would be nice if they just put a window there, but I don't know. Maybe it was for the design. And overall, um, this all new Hyundai Elantra is a little bit wider and also longer, but uh, it's actually about 0.7 inch lower compared to the last generation. So we're gonna show you the uh, headroom very soon, but it's, it's very, uh, actually very nice than I thought. Okay, and uh, if you see it here, just like the, um, this is a very different, just like the all new Optima, they use some sort of a plastic on the uh, trunk deck, I guess, to make the deck look smaller. So that's very uh, interesting design. And uh, let me just uh, turn on the turn signal because it looks very nice, actually. I'm gonna show you, but we also have mood lamp, no key. So let's give him the key, yep. Okay, so um, so Hyundai calls this H tail lamp. Do you see the big old H from here to there? I think it looks it looks very nice. Um, LED combination tail lamp actually. Um, this is a burp type turn signal and also backup lamp. And it says Avante because we call Avantes Elantras as Avantes here in Korea. Okay and. Um, this guy does not have 360 camera. We're going to show you pretty soon, but it just has a backup lamp. You actually have to press here to release the trunk and the, uh, the exhaust pipe is located on the bottom. Wow, is it starting to rain suddenly? Okay, maybe it's just falling off the uh, trees. Okay, so let me just uh, quickly also show you the trunk can press here and you know size wise you know this is a compact sedan and size wise it's not pretty bad right um, it's got pretty decent amount of room and if you need more um, room you can also pull it here and pull this sec oops so that's some stuff here but you can actually fold the seats like this um, let me show you that other one because I have some stuff back there. So it falls as a 60-40, but because I have my stuff there, it will fold not flat, but a little bit off, but can almost see it as a flat, okay? So it looks very, very uh, nice. There's no ski through because it's got uh, folding um, second row seats, okay? Okay. All right, no umbrella because I don't have any extra hand. Um, there's a room for a spare. So if you're getting it from North America, I think you're gonna get your spare tires. So don't worry. But for Korean market, they're just giving us fixer flat and some tools, okay? So I think they'll give you, uh, you know, tires if you, if you need it. So looks very nice. Um, and um, 
I'd like to just show you the second row seats myself because uh, it's a little bit raining and uh, I can certainly use some shelter. Okay, let me just put the umbrella here and let me just start the car so my GoPro doesn't die on me again. <clears throat> so I hope you guys are staying healthy away from the virus and from all the heat. <laughs> okay. Whoop. So let's put the seat back like this. Yeah. You guys all know I'm about 6'2", and uh, you know, this was where I was sitting. You know, it's got bird type, everything. So uh, yeah, it looks a little yellow here. Um, but like I said, this is where I was sitting. So it feels, uh, it's got actually very good leg room and headroom, um, you know, surprising. I think it's better than the last generation. Um, just like I told you, uh, this all new Hyundai Elantra is about 0.7 inch lower compared to the last generation. But headroom wise, I'm feeling better than the last generation, which is a bit weird. Um, but we also have a uh, two stage heated seats and window comes down, not all the way, but almost all the way. And, um, you know, Hyundai's been using this, uh, for the first time, I think, um, for the Elantra, they've been, they use this some sort of a cloth material on the back of seats and on, on for the uh, side as a front as well. I think it looks very, very young. Um, so guys, do let me know what do you think about use of this uh, cloth material uh, for the side. I think it looks very, very nice. And um, look how they uh, put the, the handle the, the, for the um, door trim really low which makes the interior look more spacious. I, I really like what they did. And there's also a cup holder here. So it's, it's very, uh, I think they try to make the interior as uh, spacious as they can. Um, hump in the middle, but uh, it's not too bad. So it's not, should be pretty okay. And two events for the second row passengers. Oddly, there's only map pocket for the passenger side. Um, and good cup holders with, I mean, good armrests with two cup holders. And there's only a regular sunroof on the top. It opens, does not want to open. It opens that much, okay? So, not bad. Just regular one, sounds pretty good. And you can also get your own new Hyundai Elantra with two different exterior colors. Our tester came with, modern gray i think it looks very very nice with modern gray and you can also get it with black but i personally think uh you know this modern gray looks a lot better so guys do let me know what you think about it in the comment section and you know seeing this car from here it's i thought i was uh you know seeing something wrong but if you see the door trim it's actually in gray color and to the right it's actually to the to the right it's actually black color even to the second row seats. So I thought I was <laughs> seeing something wrong. Something was wrong with my eyes, but actually they have divided the car. Up to here, it's, it's gray. To the right, it's all black. You see that? I think it's a very interesting touch. I think they have done this first time with the Veloster uh, because it had asymmetric uh, doors and they carry that design up to the second row. I think it's it's a very, very, good design i think i showed you everything about the uh second row seats and uh i think i'm gonna wait a little bit um so it gets a little darker okay okay i think it is dark enough so let me just show you the first row seats just like the second row seats we have a combination of cloth and leather here it looks very nice uh two memory seats twitter it actually has a eight speaker sound system by boss so we'll let you hear it pretty soon um to tell you this all new hyundai elantra is built up an all new third generation platform but i'm not seeing any small windows near the a pillar so i guess it's just a thing for cars above um hyundai sonata but it's got big windows around so we're gonna show you about the visibility when we go out and um we also have uh, this little screen right next to the gauge cluster. I actually, uh, you know, but it's, it's nothing. Um, it's just plastic. Uh, it's got little, a small um, 
pattern on it, but it's actually nothing, just just the plastic. So I asked uh, Hyundai folks about it, and they said uh, nothing for now. So maybe they're uh, saving a small screen for a hybrid or you know for the future. And I guess um, and uh, we also have a very good steering wheel. The leather feels very very nice for this class, I think. But hard plastic here, but where you touch the most, right, is leather feels very very excellent, and you can also uh, the wiper. You know, works very nicely, um, you know, getting all the reins out. Um, we also have uh, two large screens up front, which Hyundai calls it panorama screens because it just flows nicely like this. Um, I'm very surprised that Hyundai um, used this sort of system for, you know, it's a compact car. It's a compact sedan, so uh, it looks very nice. 10 and quarter inch here, 10 and quarter inch here, so uh, it looks very nice. and. Um, it can also, it changes according to the drive mode, sports, smart, and normal. Um, you know, I like sports, uh, but normal is very, very nice too. Um, and if you see very closely, there's this patterns right there. Do you see it? It's right there and right there. So uh, when you touch it, it feels just like uh, your iPad or something like that screen. Uh, it's just there with the... Uh, it's very very nice um, very easy on your eyes and to the right we also have a uh, same um, new 10 and quarter inch infotainment screen uh, it's new it's got new eye system it's very similar to Hyundai Azera or Grenza here in Korea or new um, Kia Optima and also Kia Sorento they came with these new tiles and um, can actually uh, when you drive I'm going to show you pretty soon when you drive it's actually a little transparent map it actually moves so it's very nice. Uh, we also have a uh, you know, air vents, horizontal air vent design, and also moon lamp. Um, so I think Hyundai really try to make this uh, very spacious interior space. The car is very low, and also they put you know about three different layers to uh, make you feel like uh, you know you're sitting in a very spacious um, sedan, although it's a compact sedan. Um, all the buttons are made of physical buttons and dials, so it's actually very nice. That's start and stop button. And um, look, also uh, it's giving us uh, three auto buttons, low, medium, high. So it's, it's very um, nice thing. Uh, also air cleaning mode, um, heated steering wheel, three stage heated and ventilation seats, uh, 12 volt charging. USB charging port, one fast USB charging port, and also wireless charging pad for your mobile phone. And that's your dry mode selector. Um, this one actually just has a you know backup camera, you no know, 360 degree. Okay, that's uh, for the parking sensor. If it beeps too annoying you, you can just turn it off. Um, electric parking, uh, auto hold. Um, so it's, it's very nice. Uh, this one actually does not have uh, any pedal shifters, but you can go to um, sports and shift it with a gear selector. Okay, um, and I uh, really wanted to show you this. Uh, it says a switch here. Do you see it? Switch. I was like, what is that? And if you turn it around like this, um, if you have a short stuff like that, you can do it like that, um, like that. So I think whoever made this should also get a vacation. Um, just the one with the uh, somebody who also made the. Uh, coupled it for the Palisade. And it also has a one more fast USB charging port and some storage area here, like that. Looks very good. The seats are very comfortable, uh, just like I told you. I really like the modern uh, gray looks, very nice. Um, you know, do let me know if you like the black one, but I personally do love this uh, gray. And there's also this new handle. Some people just don't like it, but I think it's just there to give you that more personal space and you know more sporty feeling to it it's it's you know, put together very nicely so i think you guys will like it um so let me do also know and just like the second row seats they put this um the handle for the uh, your hand very low so to make it look like uh it's very spacious uh, there's one line two line and three lines uh really really like it just like i told you they have divided the color black on that side, uh, gray on this side. So I wonder how what you get uh, if you get it with black. I think it's all black, right? So I would really, really like to, uh, if I were you, I would get this car with this gray, okay? And uh, let me also show you a few more stuff. Um, let me just turn off the lights. 
Okay. Um, yeah, navigation map looks very, very nice. Um, oh, heater steering. Why is it so hot? <laughs> so map itself looks very, very nice. A uh, 10 and a quarter inch system. Um, for the for the navigation, I think it's very, very good size. But for the gauge cluster, I think, you know, I would just wish the uh, gauge cluster was just a little bit bigger. That's probably why uh, Hyundai and Kia uses 12.3 um, inch system for most of their cars, you know, Kia, Optima, Sorento, um, even Genesis. They have like 3D, but all use 12.3 inch because 10 and inch, 10 inch, 10 core, 10 inch, sorry, 10 and quarter inch system is just a little bit small, I think. Um, so it's got actually bluish uh, buttons. So guys, let me know. I think it looks generally very nice. Um, and I also like to show you the mood lamp. Um, you guys all like mood lamp, but it's it's on here, here, not. No, nowhere else uh, just on the front okay so let's go to the vehicle lights ambient lights um, custom color what about brightness all the way yes all the way um, color let me just show you each of them um, let me also record with these uh, Sony DSLR so in case I miss it with my GoPro that's polar white moon white Ice blue, ocean blue, jaded green, orchid green, fresh air yellow. Maybe I should just memorize everything. <laughs> everything. Sunrise red, aurora, light violet. Um, custom color you can choose among 64. Uh, my personal favorite would be uh, ocean blue. I just personally like blue. So guys, do let me know which one is your favorite. Um, I think I told you everything about the car. Oh, you know, some of you guys also like to see Apple CarPlay. Just give me a minute. Let me just uh, plug it in. I, I would like to see myself too. Um, I'm sorry if you use a Android phone. I mean, I don't have Android phone. So let me just show you the Apple CarPlay. You can just plug it in. Um, yeah. Okay, Apple CarPlay. Nice. You see this? This is what it's supposed to be, full screen. Um, even if uh, even if I set the language to English, uh, because I guess my phone is in Korean, it just shows it in Korean. Um, you can always look like that. Very nice map and stuff like that. And if you go into the other menu, phone, music, map, message. Now playing, you can go to Hyundai, go back and uh, you know, podcast, audiobook, calendar, you know, settings, so other stuff, what app, um, Genie Music, that's like a sporty five Google map and T map. And we also have a few maps in my phone, Korean maps. So I think I showed you everything about the car. So why don't we go out to the road with all new Hyundai Elantra with 1.6 liter. MPI multi point injection. Okay, so this is what high beam looks like. We also have a um, auto high beam. Okay, so let's go out to the road with all new Hyundai Elantra. Okay, feels very smooth. All right, guys, now on the road with all new Hyundai Elantra with 1.6 liter MPI. It's a base engine made it to CVT, but actually feels very smooth. Um, I'm going to show you how it behaves, but this actually, and you know, I'm not really a big fan of usually uh, CVTs, but this one actually feels very nice. Like this uh, CT driving, it feels um, very nice. It will make you feel like as if this engine has more power. Um, it's delivering the power very nicely and it also is not making any weird drone noise and it also has eight artificial shifting points um, which means uh, it will shift like it has eight gears inside uh, so I'm going to show you that 
pretty soon. Um, visibility uh, is a very nice, just like I told you, uh, this does not have, uh, although this is third generation, does not have a small window near the A pillar, but if you see, uh, they put big windows around, they really try to put dashboard, then the call very n low, so visibility is all very, very nice. And side mirrors are uh, pretty nice, so um, I have zero complaint about the uh, the visibility. And you guys all know I'm about 6'2", and some people ask me uh, when I sit in small cars, you know, do I feel uncomfortable? Um, you know, if I really push the, the seats all the way like this, um, I even have a hard time pressing on the brake. So it's actually very comfortable sitting on this driver's seat. And the seat itself uh, is not too narrow, so it's hugging me, but it's not hurting my back. So it's it's very, very nice. We also have auto hold, so I don't have to be keep on pressing on the brakes. We also have a auto high beam assist. Um, it also has a lead car departure warning so let's say you're texting and if the lead car departs and you don't notice and it's going to say hey driver it's time to go okay um so this guy i told you uh two screens uh which hyundai calls it panorama screen both are very easy on your eyes um like i told you um this actually has a little transparent map if you just leave it like this oh actually this is actually um image pulled from the actual map um, so it's, it's also very nice it, it, very easy on your eyes and um, it's got mood lamps so um, you have a very very good um, mood I guess when you drive um, just a backup camera Ooh, rainy day <laughs> so right now we are in um, normal mode Let, let's just leave it in normal mode because when you put it into sports mode it's it makes things a little bit loud so let's just start with Noma mode. We also have adaptive cruise control with lane keep assist. I tried uh, also during the very heavy rain this this afternoon. And it also works very nicely even during the heavy rain. So yeah. It will also uh, let's just get here and it will also come to a full stop if the lead car does. Let's let me just show you. It's keeping the safe distance with car in front and also steering wheel steering for me uh, so it's a very comfortable system ah, so they're gonna make a left so I'm gonna have to change a lane okay so so it will come to a full stop if the lead car does and if the lead car departs um, within five seconds it will just follow the car lead car automatically but if it exceeds like five seconds it will just say use switch or paddle to accelerate so yeah so it's a very comfortable system you have pretty much um so this still has a you know no shift by wire system it actually has a you know column shifter and you know, it feels pretty good you, your right hand has somewhere to go um yeah I seen on the comments, you know, many people don't like this handle. Um, yeah, <laughs> it's just there. Um, so do let me know what you think about it. Um, so we have, uh, you know, 1.6 liter MPI gasoline engine, four cylinder gasoline engine, uh, makes about uh, 123 horsepower and 113 pound feet of torque. Um, and its peak torque starts around 4,500 RPM. So you kind of have to rev it up to squeeze a good amount of power. So we're gonna show you pretty soon. But, um, you know, it's generally, I would say, um, yeah, it's not impressive. Yeah, it's not punchy at all. But uh, this was actually a very, very efficient, uh, you know, when we we're driving from here to uh, Paju, where we usually shoot uh, about 40 minutes. Uh, we're just cruising about 90 kilometers per hour to like 100 kilometers per hour and it returned over like 19 kilometers per hour that's i was like is this hybrid or something <laughs> um but uh you know we didn't actually have a time to check the um the ct driving uh our editor um jung uh, my colleague will is going to check the efficiency for me uh, but it's generally Right now, it's just saying 12.5 kilometers per hour. Uh, it's generally very, very efficient. Let's see. 
And uh, we also have a trip computer, um, the uh, speed, attention level, tire pressure, and also dry mode. Um, and then you can also uh, set the uh, ADAS and compass. So yeah, it looks pretty good. Um, now let me just let you briefly hear the uh, radio system. Ooh. Yeah, I really like this uh, vacuum kind of design. Uh, you know, it's got eight speakers by Boss Sound System, and uh, you know, as a boss, it, it's got uh, lots of bass, and I kind of like it. It's very nice for this uh, class, I think. Okay, now we're gonna drive this car. Um, right now, this is in comfort mode, so let me just let you hear it. Uh, it's a little bit raining, so I'm gonna be a little bit careful, okay? So, this is in the normal mode, okay? Full throttle. So as you can see, uh, it, it kind of shifts as if it has gears, you know. Normal CVTs will just uh, stay at like a 4,000, 5,000. It's just, just there, right? Um, but this one actually, look, kind of shift as if it has gears. Um, so I, I kind of really like the, the uh, CVT system from this all new Hyundai Elantra. Hyundai actually calls it IVT, uh, Intelligent Variable Transmission, but it's just one type of CVT. Um, let's put the car into yeah, sports and just let me let you hear it one more time. So uh, I really like this. It just gives you uh, the speed limit on the gauge cluster itself. Uh, it's on the map and on the gauge cluster, I guess, because this does not have head-up display, but I think it's showing all the information is necessary for the driver. And just like I told you, it looks very, very easy on your eyes even at night. Okay, so this is in sport mode, full throttle. So like I said, it's not punchy, but it's actually pulling the car very linearly all throughout the RPM range. So yeah. So it's... <laughs> Yeah, it's interesting. Um, yeah, so it's not impressive, but I, just like I told you, uh, Hyundai will be also rolling out the cars as with a hybrid, uh, end line with 1.6 liter turbo and with two liter turbo. So I really look forward to be showing you the all new Hyundai Elantra with N. That should be very, very fun. I mean, fun to show you, right? So. So let me just uh, show you this, uh, like I told you, it's got eight artificial shifting points. When you pull it to the left, it just says S, so. So this is in third gear, fourth, fifth, six, seven, eight, seven, six, five, four, three. So it's not shifting quickly but also smoothly and most importantly like I told you it just shifts as if it has eight gears inside so yes it's I'm very impressed with this uh, new CVT you know Nissan calls it D-step or something like that um, you know they sort of uh, they want to give you uh, feeling that it's got gears inside but this doesn't have gears inside but yeah, it's pretty good. So five, four, wow. Six, seven, eight. So it's a very, very nice system. And I like the fact that the, uh, the 1.6 liter uh, MPI gasoline engine, like I said, uh, you really have to uh, sort of rev up the engine to get all the torque and all the horsepower out of the engine. But uh, one nice thing is that you can. This guy really likes to rev up. Let me see. One more time. So it's not lazy, and I like that. 
See, I mean, if it was lazy, then this car would be just plain boring, but it's not lazy. It loves to uh, rev all the way up to the red line. So uh, I think red line happens about 6,500 RPM. But so it's quite a nice system. Um, but when you just put it into uh, normal mode, everything quiets down. Um, there's no sound generator. Um, this is full throttle in normal mode. This is full throttle in sport mode. So I don't think there is a sound generator. It's just full cylinder gasoline engine just working hard. Um, but uh, it's just a base engine. So I uh, hope to show you end soon and even end line. Um, this actually has, um, you know, Mac person at the front, but uh, torsion beam at the rear. But for that system, it actually handled very, very nice uh, this afternoon. We never actually had a time to really push it because it was just wet, you know, raining all day. So, but for the wet condition, it was handling very, very nicely. So um, I think, uh, you know, I also asked uh, Hyundai folks what kind of rear suspension they're going to use for um, N-Line and, and um, they didn't say anything, but they they didn't say which one, but they say uh, a different one. <laughs> so I think they're gonna, not going to use, of course, not going to use torsion beam for N line and N. Um, so looks very nice, and uh, you know when you're kind of cruising like this, it's very very comfortable. Um, some of you are also curious about the low noise level. Um, I think this car is a lot better compared to the last generation. You know, this is a rainy day. You guys all know in rainy days, it's a lot louder. Um, all the, the rains and water from the bottom just makes it, you know, louder. And, uh, but this seems to be a lot quieter. Um, I usually complain a lot things about you know, noise coming from the bottom, but I think it got much better than the last generation. So. I think it's general in general I think it's a very good um, level for uh, compact sedan and and one thing I noticed is when you close the the sunroof it actually the the sound actually improves a lot I'm going to show you in a little bit uh, it actually makes big difference when you're kind of fast driving so I'm going to make a u-turn and turn back and let me show it to you guys okay so generally very very comfortable to drive uh, it's sort of a uh, I think this would be very very uh, good first first car um, yeah it's actually very comfortable to drive very efficient and this also CVT makes the car feel very um, light and also responsive um, you know for the for the engine and power this guy makes um, you know Lots of people said only 123 horsepower. Yes, it's not impressive, but it's it's more than adequate to move this car quickly and also f efficiently. So let's put the car into sports and full throttle. <laughs> so it's raining a little bit. Um, you know, when it's raining, you guys have to be careful because uh, on the last lanes, the first one or the last one, uh, there could be like big puddles of water. It could be very dangerous. Uh, you can just pull the car um, straight to the, uh, the left or right, uh, where, wherever the water is. So you kind of have to read the road. And if there's a water, big water, uh, you kind of have to drive around it, okay? Or just, best thing is just drive slowly, okay? So, like I told you, this has also, oh, this Optima guy is going too slow. Okay. So, like I told you, this all new Elantra also has adaptive cruise control with lane keep assist. So, let's, it's raining quite a bit. So, let's see if it can drive, you know, nicely even in this rainy day. Oh, you see? It's, yeah, so this is only driving aid. Uh, I think it's raining too heavily. Let me just try it again. Set it to 90 degrees. Oh, right now it's just handle. It's usually green, but it's white. It's now green again, uh, which means 
Uh, but you see, it's it's turning white. Um, I guess the radar sensor is raining too heavily, and uh, it's just turning to white and green. So I think it's having a hard time reading the line. So if it's white, it's not going to read it. You know, so it's dangerous. So put your hand on the handle. See, right now it says green and yellow, the white. So um, I think once it starts to rain a lot, and if you start driving fast, and it won't read the lines correctly. So we'll just turn off the lane keep is uh, I'm talking about. And adaptive cruise control, I think it works fine. Um, let me just uh, find a car to show you guys. Yeah, it actually pulls the car very linearly all the way, actually. <laughs> it's, it's actually, you know, not impressive, but pretty nice. Okay. The lane keep assist was a little bit off. Now it's, it's working again. And uh, adaptive cruise control, yeah, it works without no problem. And right now the, uh, the lane keep assist is started working again. I guess uh, it just depends how much, you know, sensors are affected by the rain. And right now it's just doing its job perfectly. And now I've set it to 100 and it's only giving me 80. You know why? Because there's a camera detector we're approaching right now. This also has adaptive cruise control that also works with navigation. So on the mapping, it's got the camera detector. So it's slowing down automatically for me. We just passed that one. And now it's going to uh, keep hands on the steering wheel. And it, now it's going to speed up to 100. Okay, so let's, let's slow down because that's over the speed limit. Okay, so uh, if you guys are waiting for this all new Hyundai Elantra, um, I think you guys will really like it. Um, I think even in US, you're gonna, you guys are gonna start getting this all new Hyundai Elantra this fall. I think you guys are gonna really like it because I know last generation, even for me, uh, I think it was just a bunch of triangles, too much, too uh, polarizing, too much triangles. But this one, I really like the uh, exterior design and also interior design. Um, so, I mean, because of the polarizing looks of the last generation, Hyundai actually, uh, you know, launched this car one year earlier than the uh, original plan. So, so that was like a, you know, big, you know, fast movement for Hyundai. And I really think uh, you guys were gonna really like this. Uh, the new interior looks really awesome, um, you know, you know, I've been driving this car, you know, at night for some time and, you know, I kind of take it back. Even 10 and quarter inch in system is pretty nice. It's not too small, uh, but 12.3 would be nicer, but it's actually, this one actually makes it look a little bit smaller. Uh, yeah, just, I wish just a little bit bigger would be nicer. The 10 and quarter inch system is very, very nice, okay? Um, so, yeah. What else did I not tell you? I think I told you everything about the car. Yeah. So, oh, I forgot to show you the uh, the difference when you close this armor for kind. So let me just pass this uh, camera detector and let you hear it one more time. We're almost coming to the end, okay? So. So this CVT actually makes you feel like this has this engine has more power because it's actually pushing pulling this car very nicely. So right now we are just a little bit going a little bit faster and now we have the sunroof open. When you close it, it actually becomes quieter. Can you see the difference? This is with all open, this is with closed. Yeah, it's raining too heavily. I don't think you guys can hear the difference. So there's a, actually a big truck here. So good brakes. Um, um, yeah, so like I told you, because we have a torsion beam at the rear, if you really push it, uh, it sort of uh, you know, gives up at the last moment. But uh, you know, I don't think you guys should be driving this car like crazy. So, But there will be also N line and N, um, so with more better suspension tuning and uh, so I'm gonna also show you that as well. Um, 
And also, we are also have uploaded new image of the uh, the fourth generation Kia Carnival or Kia Sedona that really looks nice too. And um, supposedly, uh, Hyundai will be also releasing the all new Hyundai Santa Fe as well. So we have not all new, new Santa Fe. So we have lots of cars coming out. So guys, stay tuned. We love to show you um, new Santa Fe, uh, new Sedona, uh, Hyundai Elantra in uh, so stay tuned we have lots and lots of cars coming so um, yeah i think it's going to be great um, yeah i hope you guys are staying healthy away from the virus um, yeah so um, i think i showed you everything about the car um, this has been our night drive with all new hyundai elantra hope you guys enjoyed it um, you know like i told you this looks a lot better compared to the last generation love the interior and drivability i think it's it's using the very similar powertrain the last generation also had 1.6 liter mpi which made it to cvt but with all new exterior design and interior packaging i think this made this all new hyundai and elantra very appealing so um thank you guys so much for tuning in we'll be back with more car reviews so before you leave if you love cars and car reviews, please do support us by subscribing to our channel and also hit the bell notification so you don't miss out in the future. Thank you guys. See you soon and stay healthy. Bye-bye.